in the near court. 15 left. And that's one of Okana's biggest strengths is his serve. We're really gonna see that on display here. Earlier today on this court, we saw two lefty-righty combos, both of whom put the forehands in the middle. Obviously, you can't have that when you have two lefties on the court, but it is Full interesting team. to see Taylor Townsend playing the ad side. I'm sure they're both playing wherever they feel most comfortable at this point, because it is no ad scoring. Game to Chiari sure Bapana. takes away the idea of sort of like the ad court, all the big points being played in the ad court when you have that deciding point. And you know it's man serving a man, woman serving a woman, right? Right, and you have Taylor, who's such an experienced doubles player, so I think they would have really, Ben and Taylor would have discussed it, and they had options because they both play so well. No doubt. And uh, by the way, Taylor's also playing in a lefty-lefty doubles combination in the women's double with, with uh, Layla Fernandez. There's another look at uh, Brian Shelton, Ben's dad. And mom next to him, Lisa, on his left. They'd be pretty excited after this morning. Ben's older sister's been in Taylor town Taylor too. Taylor There she is, kind of on the bottom of the screen there, in the blue shirt. Absolutely. Really interesting that Taylor is starting left. to serve. Normally in mixed doubles, you see the guys start to serve first, but this is the sort of confidence that they have in Taylor. And I mean, that's just an absolutely incredible shot. Yeah, like how literally I would love to go back. How many times in mixed doubles at this U.S. Open has the woman started serving? It'd be, it'd be interesting to find out. I would say not many. I would say this could be the first. 30 love. And you know what? Taylor Townsend, anytime you watch her on a doubles court, she's usually the best player on the court. So it kind of doesn't surprise me in that sense. She's so good at this. Sujiati <laughs> 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 tried. At, uh, at 43 years old, he's like, Sujiati, you go get that. <laughs> That's right. His leg said no, his mouth said go. <laughs> To start this match, one game all for set. set. Al Dilla and Sutiani for set. Interesting now that with Taylor Townsend already holding, huge pressure right off the bat here on Sujiati to hold this serve, knowing that Ben Shelton's coming up next. Sujiati serve. won his round of 16 match. Oh, he did. He won his round of 16 match against Tommy Paul if he would actually stay in the mixed doubles right. or just try to concentrate on the singles. Good to see him out here. I was also thinking possibly he didn't serve first to kind of save his shoulder 
maybe that's another factor we don't know. It is one less go round. Exactly. An instant pressure here at 30. just to stay in the court because that was a laser from Ben Shelton. But it's two break point chances now for the team of Townsend and Shelton. If they can't convert here, they'll actually re-rack it and play it from the same side on the deciding point. But first things first, it's 30-40. with a great serve there to save break point. Deciding point. So as you mentioned, she's going to serve again to Townsend. She chose to mix it up there and go to the opposite side. Townsend Shelton. Townsend Shelton lead two games to one. Townsend and Shelton draw first blood and lead 2 1 on Grandstand. One of them not the biggest serve in men's tennis. Step into the line at 2 1, up a break. It goes a little off speed, and you had said, Christine, you think yeah. that Ben might actually try to save the arm a little bit right now in mix. You don't need to go for the big bangers. Right, that's just my feeling right now, so it'd be interesting to see what clocks in at. Yes! Yeah, that one was 98 miles an hour, so he's definitely taking a bit off of what he, can, what he can produce on that serve. Oh, yeah. 98, he wakes up at night. <laughs> 98, it's like warm up, sir. <laughs> Go try that at home. It's got so much spin on it, though. Even that coming in at 91 really can still do some damage. Full team out. By the way, Taylor Townsend getting back nicely and smoothly for that overhead. Anything behind the service line can be a little difficult, but she made it look easy. Townsend Shelton. Off to a flying start. Townsend Shelton lead two games to one. And, and make sure you download the U.S. Open app to follow your favorite players, track the latest scores, stats, match highlights, player news, and more. It's available in the App Store and the Google Play Store. Shelton just cracked that backhand return down the line. Love 15. That, that's it. Bopana did a good job there of getting that kick serve to really bounce up on Taylor. Sujiati so moving back for the overhead. 30-15.
entertaining. Bobon is going to be a tough nut to crack. Shows how much respect they have for his serve. They both decided to stay back. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, yeah, yeah. Bobon is serving from the 43 year old. But Townsend and Townsend Shelton still lead three games to two. Three, two seven. in the first with Taylor Townsend to serve after they change ends. Lefty lefty combination with Ben Shelton. And Townsend served first for this team and serves again now up 3 2. Seems like Ben had committed to going. It was a play they had talked about beforehand. Just reached a little bit too much for that Bopana return. Right? <laughs> They're going to start having to aim for more, for Ben more at the net than Taylor. Well, that was a terrible drop volley <laughs> attempt, and Taylor's like, I got you, because I got the best hands in the game right he here. Said, Let me take over. I got yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> totally. He was like, I'm so sorry. The T fifteen. Hey, look, uh, the number one seed in the mixed doubles is Jesse Pagula. And Austin Krychek. Austin Krychek's actually number one in the world in the live rankings for doubles. Officially number three this week, but he's number one in the live rankings. In the decisive break of the third set in that match, it was Jesse Bagula who took over. In fact, Krychek missed three returns. Jesse won four points on her side of the court. So nice to see so many players that are still in singles playing doubles and playing mixed doubles as you mentioned in Jesse Pagula, Ben Shelton, Taylor still in regular dubs as well. the men are starting to catch up to the American women, which uh, has been kind of a lopsided race in recent years. It's been incredible to see how well all the Americans are doing at this tournament, really pushing each other. Oh. Taylor lost in the third round in singles to Carolina Mukova in one of the more entertaining two-set matches that we've seen so far in this tournament. And now we've Dude. got ourselves uh, deciding to play. Play. So uh, Taylor Townsend's going to get a chance to give it another go from that outcourt. Townsend serving to Aldila Sujiati. Yeah, yeah, that's a big play. Townsend by Taylor Townsend in an even bigger hold for 4 2. Townsend Shelton lead four games to two. Did you play much mixed? I did. I whenever I got the opportunity, I was always always try and play. It was so much fun. And blocked another one back. He was like, I don't he know. He got man. lucky that the first one hit the net. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so much fun to see how these two are having so much fun in the crowd. They look really free. They're just really having some fun out there. 
it's fun for everyone except the two players from the <laughs> other side of the court, I think. Oh. Although, in a way, they're getting a front row seat to some spectacular and special tennis. Side. To be able to do that is actually pretty impressive. <laughs> Better watch out, Ben. You don't want to <laughs> twist an ankle doing that. We go a little early like that. Very easy to see. 15 14. That was an incredible return from Taylor. I mean, she went wide on the. Previous point, Taylor hits a forehand winner. She goes to the backhand, but she hits a backhand winner. Break chances now to go up 5 2. Townsend shouts at me. Nibbles, please. Townsend sprint to the chair. Townsend shouts at me, 5 games to 2. First set. It's 5 2 to Townsend and Shelton. Ben Shelton now serving for the first set at 5 2. Fifteen all. Great return there from Cigiotti. Truly really kept her racket through that return. Cigiotti's actually had more luck returning, I think, the Shelton serve than Bopana so far. Similarly to Shelton, Cigiotti actually played college tennis as well. point chances now to at least get one of these breaks back. This would be huge for them to get themselves with just within just one break. Of each other, feeling the crowd. Give me another. Taylor's apparent nonchalance at knocking that that was hit with tremendous pace to her high backhand, and she just turned the face of the racket a little bit and it just angled it off. six games to two. First set, we have Bopana serving to start off this second set. Bopana held to open the match to start. 
Shelton and Towns won the next three games after that. Good The service motion just looks so fluid, so effortless for Bopana. And we'll see after they change ends if it'll be Taylor Townsend serving again. I would suspect it would be. I would suspect they wouldn't change a thing that went perfectly to play in in the first set. We talked about how well the Americans have been doing. Ben Shelton was asked on Sky Sports earlier today about the dynamic between him and the other players, and he said that between Francis, Tommy Paul, and Chris Eubanks in particular, they're like a lot of big brothers on tour for him. He is the young one at 20 years of age. The other thing that gets me, too, about Ben Shelton is it's just hard to believe that he yeah. left the country and used his passport until they went to Australia this year. And then goes on to make quarterfinals. Yeah. <laughs> he acclimates quickly. <laughs> in water on the doubles court. She's just the most comfortable of doubles players. She's so confident. She's played so much doubles throughout her career. And I think in her comeback from having a child, I think the doubles wins has really helped her singles as well. And Taylor said the other day that my doubles the team has team. gotten better, faster than my singles. But she then added, but it won't stay that way. But she wants to prove something in singles. the third round will push her a little bit higher too. She's really come back with a, a renewed confidence and it seems like just so much passion for the sport again. Game. Uh, a little lapse from Shelton and Townsend. There was either some miscommunication or maybe a little misjudgment. One game over second Taylor set. seemed to like just plant her feet and stop for a second. Looked like Taylor thought Ben might might take over, but he's perfectly happy to have Taylor be the <laughs> one to take the shots down the middle. You can actually see who's probably played more doubles between the two of them. Although in college, Ben would have played a lot of doubles. He would have. He would have for sure and successfully. But not a lot, not a lot of mixed doubles, obviously. Uh, sure. She's Good trying to now out. get a hold. She doesn't have much, much luck on her serve. And Rohan Bopan has been trying his best to sort of cut balls off. It's a good start for them here. <laughs> Just missed wide. I feel like this is a really big game for Suciati and Bopana if they want to have a chance in the second set. They really need to try and hold serve here. Oh. We're getting some help with a couple unforced errors here from, from Townsend and Shelton on returns.
Sujati holds at love. Yeah, he's one of these two games to watch. Second time to that. Shelton first that time to post on grandstand. Man, that is, they call it golden hour for a reason. That is a great shot in midtown Manhattan. And Ben Shelton with one of the biggest shots in tennis. Tina. That left-handed serve of his. Which he's only really sort of busted out one big serve in this match so far. Right, we saw one around 130-something. And that last one was 109. Yeah, the big one was when he was down a bright point. <laughs> Suciati and Mopana ended up on the same side of the court. That's not going to get it done. Ben Shelton had the entire half of the court to work with. suciati has been pretty impressive with her ability to get back Ben's serve a couple times now. Opana didn't do nearly as much as he would have liked to have done with that. I'm actually not exactly sure what he could have done with that, except a little angle drop volley. Thirty for ten. It would almost look like Ben Shelton was about to fall there as he was recovering. Fifteen. Yeah. 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 To all in set number two. And remember that you can still stay connected to the U.S. Open on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. YouTube as well. Join the conversation. All you need is the hashtag U.S. Open. So we re-rack and go back to the top of the batting order. Rohan Bopana serving the two all. Fifteen up. Thirteen up. That they've really been able to win quite easily, Suciati and Bopana. Rohan oh, Bopana, it's like he just takes his time. There's nothing rushed. Oh, great hands from Suciati just to stay on the point. Absolutely. She really has great hands up there. Team team. She's pretty fearless as well. Oh. 
refrains this year at the U.S. Open. Very, very sensitive net cord sensors. Nothing much any of us can do about it. Chair umpire has to call a let if it shows up. Tucciati, Bobana. Tucciati, Bobana leads the game to two. Townsend and Shelton took the first 6-2 here on Grandstand. On serve in the second set. No breaks just yet. Taylor is staying toe-to-toe there with Bobana. She feels very comfortable from the baseline if she needs to get into a rally with either opponent. It's a little like you know, mixed doubles because the play is actually to hit it at the guy, to hit it at Ben Shelton. He seems the less confident of the two within the rallies. I'd agree with that. Taylor does have really good hands and a really good court sense up there at net. because that overhead was like 200 miles an hour. <laughs> I love that Ben Shelton was chosen by on to be the first male player to represent the running brand that Roger Federer has so much to do. He gets Fiontech's wearing the on stuff. I'd really like to see Taylor Townsend get a clothing sponsor because she's earned it. Absolutely. Yeah. Three games all. Second set. You're all right, kid. <laughs> His hands are still there, so it's good. a bit more on her serve. She's serving a lot better in the second set so far. And that's going to be the key service game is her service game for them. No doubt about that. Those are the service games they lost in the first set and ultimately lost 6-2. The difference, too, is that Taylor and Ben are missing you know. some more returns. Exactly. They, they couldn't miss a return in the first set. It was winner after winner. was in a weird spot. The line was wide open for Sujiyama. Sujiati, pardon me. Okay. Sujiyati Bopana. Sujiyati holds. 4-3. On serve. Sujiyati Bopana leads the second set here. On second set. First set, Hans Van Chelten. Uranus? I don't know. 3-4. Love 15. Oh, 
returning the Shelton serve fairly well, but she hadn't really seen 123 into the body yet. He possesses so much variety on that first serve. So many different options and spins he can use. And that's the classic lefty swinger out wide to the righty backhand. Full T15. Taylor Townsend, calm as you like, moving back for another overhead that she puts away. Back to the I formation. You see Taylor Townsend getting low. You best get down. You want any part of that Ben Shelton heat. Oh. One thirty nine, but just a bit outside. <laughs> Taylor's laughing at it about how badly he missed that first serve. Yeah, yeah. Townsend yeah. Shelton. Yeah. They're still, they're still laughing about it. <laughs> <laughs> He's missed the really badly. But he reins it in. He has such confidence in his second serve that allows him to be able to take so much risk on the first serve. It's been such an interesting year for Ben Shelton, who's going to move up in the rankings by getting to the quarterfinals of the U.S. Open after getting to the quarterfinals of Australia. And he hasn't had that many positive results in between. We're talking the first and last majors of the year. And he, then he, otherwise he struggled. And it, look, it was his first full year on tour. But he's going to go into 2024 with a lot of points. She's really not intimidated by the by the pace coming at her. She does such a good job to keep the racket face really compact. Popana cruising through his service game here. And Townsend and Shelton are on the brink of feeling the first real pressure they've felt in this match. That first set was very, very smooth. But after yeah, 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 yeah. Taylor Townsend is going to step to the line. Lead five games to four. four five in the second. Second set, first set, Townsend Shelton. Extend this second set. If you're a fan of the American duo, because they're up against it. Taylor Townsend serving at 4 5 in the second set. Yeah! 15 love. that they talked about that they were going to use in this game because Ben seems like as soon as Taylor's serve lands, he's making a move. He's looking to inject himself into the point and then do a little dance afterwards. <laughs>
Side. Getting the crowd going, trying to calm her partner down. And here we go, five all in the second. Ben Shelton would be used to playing with rowdy crowds, having played in college, so he'd be feeling totally at home here with this New York crowd and having them really get behind them and get loud. And you can see he's he's all about it. He loves it. Yeah. He lives for he lives for these moments. See that actually with a lot of the teams who played in the college ranks coming into Danielle Collins is a great example of that too. Just enjoys the interaction and the overall intensity of the crowd. I think the, handling the pressure too of competing for a team really translates well to the pressure of playing on tour. You heard that from a lot of players. I'm sure you felt the same thing. That extra pressure of having to perform for others can steal you for when it's just you out on the court. Go to okay. Sujiati. Points now. Point at five all. Suciati serving to Townsend. Six Shooting. games to five. Second set and five one set to I think he was faking it. Oh. To go along with his quarterfinal upcoming appearance in the men's singles. Taylor Townsend still alive in the women's doubles. Come on! Very good couple of weeks for these youngsters from the United States. 15 love. These two are certainly getting a lot of court time here in New York.
Thirty love.